Joe everyone and welcome to another YouTube episode with yours truly King Cecilix. Today we are going to talk about exactly what the title says. Why I switched to Mixer and should you? Before we hit the subject, there are a couple of things that I want to go over. First, I am not a big streamer. I am not a big content creator. I'm still working and I'm doing my thing and I'm learning the way. So take this. This is just like tips and tricks uh, from me. And this is like my experience for what I have uh, experienced over a year that I've been streaming over at Twitch. And now I've been for a week on Mixer. Second, I am one kind of like a streamer or gamer. Uh, I am one certain kind of profile. What I'm doing, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna work for you. So you need to find out what is really working for you. This is just tips and tricks uh, for my experience. And but this is what I mean is that you, you can't copy like 100% of another streamer or a gamer. So that means that you cannot be another streamer or gamer. You can just like take those tips and tricks. It's just as you're watching another streamer. It's just like you're watching Dr. Disrespect, Ninja or anyone. It's just you cannot do what exactly they are doing. But you can take good things that will work for you. So now we can shuffle that away and move forward. So let's talk a little about Mixer and Twitch. So Twitch, Mixer, is it a war going on? So Twitch is based around Justin TV. Justin TV got created in uh, 2003 and they, these founders are the creators and the founders of the live streaming we're actually seeing today. They are the pioneers of the live streaming we're seeing today. They created Twitch and Twitch got bought up by Amazon. And Amazon is not a company with a small wallet if you know what I mean. Show me the money. <laughs> Mixer on the other hand, come on. Mixer is owned by Microsoft. Microsoft, they don't have a small wallet either. Show me the money! Microsoft and Mixer, uh, they actually have the possibility and the money to shut down companies. Like they can, they can put in so much into marketing that it can actually. It, it can actually be a hard punch for any company out there that Microsoft really want to get into. So the switch. Why did I switch? What did I do? What? What? Why did I go from Twitch to Mixer? Why, why did I do it? 2019. It was a hard year for me. It's been a lot. I had my son. He was doing heart surgery. Uh, I had my uh, my close grandma uh, passing away, and there's been a lot of stress going on, and combine that with work and everything. Um, th that made me uh, rethinking a lot of things. I had time to think about my streaming, my content creative things. Uh, so that was like that. That is why I was looking into Mixer. So my first tip to all your content creators or streaming out there, whatever platform you are going over to, it can be YouTube, it can be Facebook, it can be that you're going over to Twitch, it can be or that you're going over to Mixer. You have you have to take your time to look into the platform. You cannot just do the switch just because, oh, there's something new coming in. It looks nice. Let's go over. Oh, YouTube. Oh, he is... Uh, he is... Uh, 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 getting big over in YouTube in just a short while. As I said before, the things I'm doing is not necessarily going to work for you. What you need to do is you need to look into the platform, take your time, learn the platform, look at other streamers, talk to the community. Is it working for you? If it is, maybe that's a big opportunity or that's a big why you should go over. Believe in the platform. You have to believe in the platform you're streaming on. You have to believe in the platform that you want to switch to. If not, there is no point of doing it. If you don't believe in the platform you're on right now, do the switch. If you don't believe in the platform that you're thinking about switching to, don't switch. If you don't believe in it, you will just have a stressful mind that would be like, oh, this, this platform is not going to take me anywhere. You also need to do the hard work. Don't forget that. You cannot just do the switch and it would actually help you. You have to do the hard work. When I was switching, and now when I have do the switch from Twitch to Mixer, 
I have to do all the other hard work over like new followers, getting new viewership, getting new 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 community. I'm still need to do the hard work. It's not just switching. It's not that we are the big streamers who's getting paid to get over. If you're not willing to do the hard work again, then don't. Don't do the switch at all. Mixer is such a smaller, it's, it's more of a smaller uh, streaming platform than what uh, mostly all the other streaming platforms are. So don't forget that, and that can actually be a good thing. It don't necessarily need to be a bad thing, but that needs also to rethink about and to uh, get into. It's you, if, if you're streaming or gaming on small viewership games on Twitch right now, they can actually be a death of you when you're going over to Mixer because one of those small games can be really, really, really small on Mixer that actually they has no viewership at all. So you need to look into what games are actually working on Mixer. And that is also that's one of the things that I went over. I love gaming mainstream games what does the fuck say mainstream games uh, i love gaming apis like this i love pubg and I, I i i cannot get away from those and then also in between i'm switching to low viewer based games but those games you have higher pos possibility to getting shown over at it because uh, they are so much smaller viewer base uh, on Mixer than they are on Twitch. For instance, like Apex Legends, it has like 30,000 viewers, like kind of around that. On Mixer, it's like on 2,000. So they, 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 there is like not so many big streamers that are there that has like 100 to 1,000 viewership. Yes, there are like a couple of ones that have 100 to 1,000, but after that, it's just like from 50 down to 1. So, and there's this not that many streamers, so there's a higher possibility to getting shown if you play in those bigger games. When I was looking into the Mixer community and talked and uh, being around like groups on Facebook and so on, I felt like Mixer was more of a gaming community. You, you, you don't have to compete with girls that are doing cam shows and show a lot of skin. You don't, you don't have to compete with, with, with guys doing podcasts talking about like football or anything else. You, you, it's it's more of a gaming community. The platform also use something called FTL, faster than light. That means that you're streaming with no delay, and that means that you can interact and talk to the chat a lot faster and a lot better. You can also stream in higher quality. Then also one cool thing that I've that I found like oh shit, this is amazing. How has no one else? thought about this is like you are when you are in the chat or like a viewer you're leveling up on the streamer you so you have like a rank the more you watch the more you are uh, riding in the chat and so on and when you do that you get something called sparks so sparks is for free and with those sparks you can buy gifts come on you can buy gifts and put them in the chat you can also buy special emotes and so on those sparks then go over to the streamer and the streamer can do the same thing on other streamers. He can use the sparks to buy gifts and uh, emotes. Or they also, if you are a partner streamer, you get like discount on embers and so on. Another thing is that what kind of language do you stream at? Or what kind of language do you want to stream at? So if you're streaming in like French or German or, or Swedish, uh, that means that maybe those language isn't the best language to stream over at the platform you want to go over to. In, in this case, Mixer. Um, maybe it's better than you stay at the platform you are or switch to another platform where that language is better to stream at. For instance, on, on, on Mixer, that is, if you're streaming on like, in my language, Swedish, and you're streaming like Apex Legends, there's a higher possibility that you are getting high up. Uh, to get viewed as uh, as a Swedish streamer on on Twitch, uh, on Mixer, the Swedish community isn't that big. That also means that you 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 maybe be shown, but you maybe also have like no viewers over there. So Mixer is like a really good community for the English. I hope you really like this video and there's gonna be more of these kind of videos on my YouTube and I'm also just gonna still do some highlights, montages and uh, funny videos too. Uh, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also put a comment. Just ask me anything or write what you think about this video and I will read it and I will try to improve and get better.
Uh, either way, you can find me uh, on all other social medias and on Mixer. So you have all the links in my description. So thank you so much for this and I'll see you next time.